Hey guys, this is Miss B. Um, I would like to welcome you to the first day of class. Now you can't see me, but I'm putting this in quotes. <laughs> so I wanted to um, take a moment and give you a brief tutorial of our syllabus. It is important to review it just because this is our class contract. So, um, you know, you need to know what you're signing up for. First of all, uh, the key information that you will need to contact me is up here. So please make sure that you know my email address. Obviously, I would prefer for you to contact me through Canvas, which again goes directly to my email. So Canvas does have the inbox and of course on the left hand side, you will be able to see it once you log into the class website. Um, if you want direct access to our class website, click here, it'll take you to the Canvas page and you can log in. And then of course, I would like to also uh, point out that this semester, I will be holding office hours. Yes, I'm going to break all the rules and go on campus. Just kidding, no, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, what I'm gonna do is open up our chat. So I would like to show you guys what that is. Let's go to our main page and let's go to the chat page. Now, um, I'm on instructor mode, so obviously, you know, uh, there's all these other labels that you're not going to see when you log in, but this is our course chat, and if I activate it and allow for new alerts to come in, um, it's pretty awesome. Like, if you, when you guys message me, I'll just get it right here in a big chat room. So, just to show you guys, hi everyone, bam, there I am. So, um, on these office hours that I indicated, I will be, let me just delete that because it's just awkward to talk to myself. Um, uh, in the office hours that I indicated, I'll be right there. I'll be online. I'll have my chat open from 12 to 1.30 on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, by the way, I probably should have mentioned this before. My name is pronounced Hasmik. Um, yes, I'm Armenian and the pronunciations are often butchered. So if you guys feel more comfortable, you can definitely uh, call me Jasmine or you can call me Miss B. Um, Miss B seems to be like the popular name that my students give me. So uh, whatever you're comfortable with, you know, just don't mess up my name. Just kidding. You can mess it up. I'm not going to be mad. Um, all right, so I'm going to, in your own time, allow you to read our class description and objectives. This is kind of, you know, um, what this class is all about, like what you have to do, the prerequisite that you have to complete to be in a class like this. In a nutshell, let me just clarify that this is an advanced composition course. It's called Critical Thinking and Literary Analysis. A lot of people ask me what's the difference between 102 and 104 well ultimately the difference is um, 104 tackles current uh, events and issues and 102 tackles literary analysis so we use a little bit more literature um, we will have a fiction unit we will have a poetry unit um, a very brief drama unit where I also incorporated film as literature. Really exciting stuff, I think. So um, one other thing that I'm not going to read out loud because, oh my gosh, I will bore you, is the exit standards for this class. Now, you should definitely read this on your own. Basically, this is like our class promise of what we are going to cover as the semester progresses. So, um, you know, this is kind of like our completion form that by the end of the semester we should have covered, um, if not all, most of these standards. Now, for our required texts, I would like to tell you this while you're listening because um, I just really want you to save money. And I, and I get it that, you know, times are hard and, and I'm sure for a lot of people, the extra cash in their pocket is um, a, a lot more desirable than buying a book that you just need for one semester. So here's the thing. I'm using the older edition of Backpack Literature. 
the publisher is Pearson. I added an Amazon link here for you. Um, but when I was going through the Amazon link, like renting the book is about 20 bucks. So it's not a big deal. You can always do that and um, I'll be fine with it. But let me just let, let you know that if you do decide to use the fourth edition, which is cheaper online actually, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm also okay with uh, a lot of people just taking a picture of the table of contents and then finding the stories online. Now these are um, popular stories and they've existed for many years. So I have checked and most of them are online. Let's say if like one or two uh, aren't online, you can always maybe um, ask me to send you like screenshots of the pages or, or we can always, what I'm trying to say is we can always find a solution if money is a problem. So uh, let me just let you know now. If you think that this book is too expensive, especially after clicking on the link and you're like, I would rather save my money. And if you are willing to do the extra research to find the readings online, then please contact me. Let me know. Um, what I can do is take a picture of my table of contents and then uh, post it in an announcement for you guys. And then from that point on, uh, depending on what it is we need to read, maybe you guys can search the stories yourselves and then, you know, um, just be prepared for class. The Handmaid's Tale is actually, um, it's a good book to have. I, I found lots of versions and you could get it for like seven bucks, maybe 10 bucks, you know, like uh, approximately that price range. So I'm trying to be as uh, cost efficient as possible, especially this semester with everything going on and with a lot of people's jobs on the line. So um, again, if you do feel like backpack literature is just too expensive, I know there's a new edition out, it's the sixth edition. Um, don't get that, that's, that's gonna be really expensive. So I'm using the older edition, it's like one edition older, um, and it's, it's fine. <laughs> so it's really not that big of a deal. For the attendance in a class like this, I do think it's important for you to know some of the policies. So notice how long the attendance section is. So let me have the page open. Please make sure you're reading all of this. One thing that I want to clarify is this. When you're enrolled in an online class, um, the rules are a little bit different than in a face-to-face -face class. So first of all, in a face-to-face -face class, you would have to show up day one and day two to keep your seat in the class. I'm sure you guys know this rule. Um, it's basically like a two-day rule. You have to um, you know, come to class during the first week, um, the two class sessions of the first week, and then you get to keep your seat. Now, in an online course like this, how are we supposed to, you know, test out who is here and who didn't show up? Well, we have a check-in assignment. So this check-in assignment is due uh, at the end of the first week. So I actually put it up here that it's going to be due for us on Sunday, September 6th. You're probably wondering, what is this check-in assignment? I made it really easy and really fun. Um, it's, a, it's basically an introduction of ourselves. Every teacher has their own check-in. Some teachers come up with quizzes. Some, some teachers come up with other type of activities. It might be a written activity. Mine is a video-based activity. Yes, I want you to record yourselves introducing yourselves and then posting it to our page. So that's gonna be our check-in. Now, um, what I do at that point is if students did not complete the check-in by the deadline, I end up dropping them the following Monday, so that would be Monday the 7th, and then I add the people who are on the wait list. So if we don't have a wait list, of course I'm gonna be more lenient about dropping people, but if the wait list gets full, then I am gonna to have to do that. 
at that point, waitlisted students who added the class September 7th have until the census date, which is September 14th, to add the course. So if you are a new student watching this tutorial, just know that you do have until Monday the 14th to complete uh, the check-in assignment. Um, also, in a class like this, you know, taking attendance is difficult, so this is how we count it. We have to count it as two weeks worth of assignments that you miss to be in danger of, of being, um, of failing the class. So for me, that's equivalent to 10 assignments. And by 10 assignments, I mean 10 five-point assignments. You'll see as you guys go along that my assignments are typically five to 10 points, five for ones that are shorter, they, are, they require less time, 10 for the ones that uh, require a little bit more time to complete. So each five point assignment counts as one. Once you get to like nine missing assignments, I'm probably going to send you a message. I will get very busy this semester, but I'll be on top of it. And just for your convenience, I did put the drop deadlines for you at the bottom here. Mark your calendars. You never know. So it's good to know these dates. Um, I do have a plagiarism section in my syllabus. I don't want to go over it at all. I hate talking about plagiarism. But if you're not sure what it is, please click on this link and find out for yourself. Um, there is a policy on the students with disabilities. So what I'm required to direct you to is our disabilities office. So if you click on this link, you can visit the website. You can also use the number to call. Um, I don't, a lot of students didn't know this, but there are actually accommodations that uh, they can qualify for depending on um, what they register as in terms of their disability. So it could it could range from getting extra exam time or or even extra time on assignments. So if you feel like this is something you might be interested in, then please visit this website. And then of course my late work policy is. I don't allow late work, and that's because I give you one entire week to complete your work. So that's Sunday to Sunday. So all in-class work, which is this part right here, all in-class work, you will have one full week to complete. Um, that's why, you know, late work just seems like it's, it's extra kindness to me and I just don't have time for it. So for the in-class assignments, I don't accept late work. Now, exams are different. So if you know that you're going to have to miss the final for whatever reason, please let me know. Um, if you're struggling with your essay for whatever reason, please let me know. But ultimately, for this category, the in-class work, which is our daily work, our quizzes, our discussions, our homework assignments, you cannot um, turn that in late. Once the Sunday deadline comes, then that's it. All right, and finally, I would like to share with you that there is Canvas tech support. Um, they will probably be able to help you out so much better than me. Uh, I'm okay at Canvas. You know, I've, I've had some training, but I'm not a pro at it, not like these people. I've actually called this number before. It is actually 24-7. Somebody always picks up. So if you are having some kind of a technical issue, just contact them. You know, you have nothing to lose. You can, of course, contact me too, but there's only so much I can help you with. Um, here's our class schedule, you guys, and I, I do want to clarify that I'm required to provide a class schedule, but this, do, this doesn't indicate our day-to-day -day assignments because it's just impossible to know what I'm going to do um, in detail every single day. So what I did instead is I put the readings, I put the days that we have off, um, I also put the major deadlines like essay one, essay two, um, and of course, our final exam. Now, the last part of our syllabus is a bunch of handouts. This is on paraphrasing and quoting and lead in phrases. This will be handy if when you're, you're using quotations. This is if you're struggling with analysis, just some suggestions. This one is how to integrate your evidence smoothly into your writing 
and of course some comment codes that I use uh, when I grade your work. And I do recommend that you print out the syllabus and have it in your records and, you know, just kind of refer to it from time to time. And that it completes our tutorial for our syllabus. Welcome to the class.